You can tap into wonderful synergy and companionship here in the Creative Life Center neighborhood, our online community built using the Mighty Networks platform. The neighborhood is home to entrepreneurs and change makers who have come together to enjoy boosting the impact of their online offerings. I'm Marcia Chadley, founder of the Creative Life Center Neighborhood, and today I want to show you what's waiting for you here and how to easily get around and find it. One of the great things about the neighborhood is that you're able to, to enjoy everything that we offer either using a browser on your computer or a free app on your phone or tablet. This short tour will show you both ways. We're going to start by exploring the neighborhood from a computer browser. After you sign into the neighborhood on your browser, you step into the community center. The things that are shared in the community center, the interaction, the connection, the events, are all things that anyone in the neighborhood might benefit from and enjoy. This area is also publicly visible. You can think of it like a website and blog posts. There are visual clues that you're in the community center. Look at the top of the browser and you're gonna see this deep purple eggplant color. That means you're in the community center. You'll also see this Creative Life Center logo. The community center also provides access to the two other main areas in our neighborhood, the resources and the programs. What you'll find in those areas are things that some of the people here in the neighborhood would be interested in, but not necessarily everybody. So we've given them their own spot that you can go to. You'll find those areas using the navigation pane on the left-hand side of your browser. To open the resources page, click here in the navigation pane. You can scroll down to see the variety of different resources that are available to you. The neighborhood is always growing and changing and evolving, so what's currently available in the resources may be different than what you're seeing here. Have some fun by poking over in the resources section as it is today to see what you can find. You can choose among all these different resources which ones interest you. They're public, they're free to join, they're free to browse and go into. Once you join them, you'll be able to comment, ask questions, and get notifications when new information is added. You'll know if you've joined a particular resource because it says joined up here. If you haven't, you're going to get a join us button. So let's show you what that does. Click join us. It says I'm joined. Now I can click this resource and go inside. You'll notice the banner color changed to a turquoisey teal color. The icon changed and if you hover over it, it tells you right where you're at. We're not in the community center anymore. We're now inside this particular resource. I'm free to click on the different articles and information, read through this, go all the way to the bottom, and add comments and questions if I'd like to. I'm done in this resource. I want to go back to the community center. How do I get there? Go into the upper left. You'll find Back to Network, and here's our logo. Click on that. I'm now back into the community center. You can see that dark plum color. I'm on the resources page because that's where I was when I clicked inside a resource. If I want to go back to the activity feed, I just click on home. I'm back in that main activity feed. Let's take a look at the programs. Programs are the third main area of the network and you can get to them through the community center here in the left hand navigation pane. Click programs and I'm now on the programs page. These are the different opportunities available for you to learn or to go through a common experience with other members of the neighborhood. Some of them may be free, some of them may be paid. There's different ways that programs can be presented. You'll want to come into the programs page and see what's available to you right now. As I'm creating this video, we have a wait list available that you can request access for. That's for people who would like to take a masterclass on creating a video tour of their Mighty Network. We have a self-guided free course on hosting stellar Zoom events. We have a paid subscription membership available for the studio or online co-working community, and also information on how you can work privately with me. So let's pop into one of these programs. You can see what that's like. Let's start this free course. I'm gonna click Start. Now it says I've joined, so I can click right in here. You'll notice the banner changed. It's this fun little dusty rose peachy color. 
There's a new icon. If I hover over that, I know I'm in the five keys Zoom event program. And here I can get all the different information about that. I want to go back to the community center. So I pop back up here, back to network, back in the community center with this eggplant color. I'm still in the programs page. I can go back to the home activity area by clicking on home. When you're in the community center in your home activity feed, you'll see posts for all of the areas of the network that you belong to. It's similar to what happens in your Facebook feed. There will be posts from any of the resources and programs that you belong to, along with posts that are here in the community center for everybody. If I come over here and click this list view option, I now get a way to quickly go through and get an overview of what's available for me. When you see a post that has one of these little tags on it, it's from somewhere outside the community center, in this case from the studio program. Whereas a post like this with no tag means it's from here in the community center and everybody's going to be seeing it. So what you see in your home activity feed is personalized for you. There are other pages in the navigation pane that I'd like to show you and some that we're not going to look at in the tour, but you can have fun exploring on your own. Let's take a look at the topics. Topics are a great way to find information in the neighborhood. To find all of the posts about one of these topics, you come here and open the topic. Right now, we have topics for the neighborhood guide, information to help you get around and learn things, video watch parties, you can see some of the new videos I put up, blog posts, pretty self-explanatory, Saturday Sip of the Neighborhood. Here, every Saturday, I'm putting up a tip that helps you know how to interact and find different fun things around the neighborhood. And we have a behind the scenes topic where I share some of the fun things that I'm up to. Let's take a look at what's in the Saturday SIP. So if I click on that topic, go to list view, you're gonna see all the different choices of these posts that I put up helping you around the neighborhood. If I go back to the topics, I can explore the neighborhood guide. Here's the different posts in the neighborhood guide to help you out. The last section that I want to show you are the events. So let's click on the events page. We're still in the community center. We have that dark purple color up here and our Crave Life Center logo. Similar to the home activity feed, the events shown to you in the community center include events for everybody that are community center events and events that happen are happening in the groups and programs that you belong to. So this particular member is seeing events that are going to happen in the studio. There aren't any happening right now in the community center. Let's go back to the home activity feed. Anytime you want to get your bearings, this is a good place to come back to. And now you know how to use that left hand navigation pane and explore the neighborhood. Let's take a look at what the Creative Life Center neighborhood is like on your phone app. The phone app and the tablet app are great ways to pop in quickly to the neighborhood, see what's happening, even do some quick sharing. When you first enter the neighborhood in the app, you're in the home activity feed. You can see at the top of the screen, we have that deep purple color. We have the icon for the Creative Life Center. Can scroll up, you can see the different posts. These are the same posts that we were looking at a little bit ago on the computer. Now, if we want to get to the navigation pane on the phone app, we're going to touch the three line menu. It's going to go to the navigation pane. It shows us the same choices we had on the computer, the resources, the programs. Let's go into the resources by touching that. Now I see the different resources are available. Again, I can scroll up can see the ones I've already joined, the ones I can join if I wish to. If I go inside one of them, the color at the top of the phone has changed to be the color of that resource. The icons have changed. I can see I have one on top of the one for the Creative Life Center. If I use the three line menu and touch that, I'm in the navigation pane now for that particular resource. And then if I want to go back to the community center, I go back to network. I'm in the resources page. Use that arrow to go back to the navigation pane for the community center. 
Let's go into the programs and see how that works. Touch programs. Similar, I am in that list. You can see different cards for the different programs. If I want to request access for that wait list. If I want to go inside the one I've already joined about Zoom events. Here's all that information. Got a different color banner. Use the three line menu at the top to open the navigation pane so I could get around inside that program. Go back to the network. I'm in the Programs page, use that back arrow, I'm in the Navigation pane for the network. Now if I go back to Home, I'm in that Activity feed where I can see all the posts from the Community Center and also the different programs and groups that I belong to. So it's quick and easy to get around on your phone also. What did you see during this quick tour that caught your eye? New ideas, encouragement, connection, and more are waiting for you here. Now is a great time for you to start exploring on your own. If there's something you're looking for that you can't find, reach out and let me know. I'll see you around the neighborhood.